G'day there, I'm Snake of Bacon and we're back in EDF 6. And while I wasn't recording, I did play Mission 4 two more times just for loot because it just has so many boxes. And what I found was very good. In this run, 37 armor crates and just about every level 0 and 1 weapon that I was missing. Somehow before, I was unlucky enough to have no long range artillery. Now I have all of it. And the second time I played, in just two attempts of picking up the Gallic Heavy Cannon, I've maxed out all of its stats, giving it a star, and making my favorite early game weapon as good as it can possibly be. The damage boost is very welcome, and I'm very happy to have this. I would bring two of them. It is a good loadout having two cannons, but I thought it'd be interesting to bring this along with Powerdyne, the non-reloadable plasma cannon. So, let's dive in to Mission 8, Fanged Monsters. Extermination team to the west is going after some red monsters. You better give them a hand. These red beasts use their fangs to hunt prey, but don't give up even if they do sink their teeth into you. Just blast away, as the commander would say. We're going on hard, because that's what I do. We're heading out to exterminate monsters. Come with us. Yes. Yes. We need to Lisa. rebuild civilization. The monsters will only get in our way. We need to wipe them out. Oh, oh, oh. hold on. Move my table a bit, and and the, the microphone. Oh, okay, that's fixed. I don't know why I didn't put the cable out of the way before. Down, down, up, up. Let's go. Uh, not if I chop them in half first. No, oh, too too far. That's effective. Too effective. Uh, oh, yeah, that was the other thing I forgot to note. Power Blade Zero on my right hand is a DLC weapon. And I forgot all about that. I knew the body pillow was DLC. And that's a useless joke weapon. And generally, in EDF 4 and 5, most of the DLC weapons were just funny junk. But this time around, Power Blade Zero is an amazing weapon that gives you the melee capabilities of a character from... Uh, EDF World Brothers, pretty much. But, um, yeah. Hopefully, even for non-DLC owners, there are other power blades at high levels. But I just don't know. Because uh, I really want to still be using this samurai strategy on hardest, you know, at level 50 or something. But I'd need a much, much better power blade for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big fan of red ant missions. Of course, this one does not compare to the iconic Crimson from EDF 2025 and 4.1. It's nice, you know. Like a construction site sort of vibe and the big red ants. I like this this hill. This is an interesting bit of a map. Nothing to hide behind, only minimal rubble. I've been talking over all this dramatic dialogue. Uh, how do I say no worries? If that scientist gave me the power blade, I'm very thankful. The primers went back to where they came from. We won. The future is bright. I hope. Hmm. What, what are we all waiting on me for? Are we walking around the hill? Nobody gets it. They're not so easily defeated, but the tide will crash in and then recede. Eventually, they'll wash everything away. That's how they operate. Oh, it's the big mine! 
Oh wow, this is like the crash site map from uh, four and and five. I think no, just five or just no. There was a big there was a big open pit mine like map in four. Ah, oh, whatever. So this wouldn't be a mine. It's laid out like a mine, but uh, I think this is just a just a hole in the ground. All right. Let's show you the power of the cannon, which I should have been using from the high ground. You zoom in and kaboom! And then the uh, hot gases come out the front. Really like that new effect. I don't think it used to do that. It's, it's a lovely gun. A brighter tomorrow? Oh no, the movie's called A Better Tomorrow. You know how hard it is to find a copy of that movie? So, so very different. In Australia, that is. I was looking for a Blu ray of A Better Tomorrow today, and all I could find was an Italian release that apparently didn't have any English subtitles. Just the Cantonese dub, the Italian dub, and Italian subs. And that's of no use to me. Multiple? Not just the one, then. Oh, they're coming in from the edge of the bowl. This is bad. There's too many of them. No, there's not. No. Alright, so start picking off with the Gallic Heavy Cannon. Boom. And bang. It's got a very low rate of fire. That's why it's better to have two of them. I should also note when I hopped on to uh, play Mission 4 twice I did turn the graphics setting back to uh, 4k better speed because I noticed when editing there is so much screen tearing in the recorded video hopefully uh, I can fix that BAM! 3280 damage oh let's shoot this one ah oh, he dropped me anyway Alright, get on up. Uh, I might have to boost. I can't boost up, but I can't switch weapons. Alright, shooting! That's another 3280 damage. What's that? Six ants pierced? Rough math. Five. Five ants, because I do 650 on damage. Yeah. I like this cannon, and it is good. Oh, that's a big one. 5,200. That must be nine, nine ants that I killed at once. So yeah, do recommend Gallic Heavy Cannon, especially if it's upgraded. Maybe switch to sword for a moment after I fire my last shot. Ah, uh, Paladine, save me. Paladine again. Power! Oh, I missed the ant that's eating me. Power! If you're not familiar, a warning, Paladine does not reload. Every class has at least some special super weapons that are non-reloadable. Generally only advised for taking down one really big boss that you know about. Or yeah, emergency situations of ants. But the Rangers, um, single-use weapons especially, uh, they're often shaped like assault rifles that fire one laser that continuously fires and will not stop unless you switch weapons. So they're really a, just a big one shot, not even ten. Unless you fire half the beam and switch weapons. It's usually possible. Oh, I think I've been waffling on too much, missing all the dialogue, and not picking up boxes. This looks like another great grinding mission too. Music still going. Ah, oh, there's one ant still on the rim. Nice. Because it's especially nice because no one's going to shoot it. My whole squad is dead. Alright, well, we can check. Have we got everything? Yeah, looks like all health 
It's all just health. All right. Where are you? Ah, I'll get both barrels on you. Probably. Ever the optimist. I'm sorry. Yes. That was a quick one. I think. Ooh, we've got some stuff. Force blade gets upgraded to hmm, 67 and a half and 135 damage. Good. It does double damage against shield as well. What does that mean? Because, like the shields that the shield bearers project can't be damaged at all, so there must be some other shield they mean in the game. Unless I mean the like the armor of the aliens, the breakable armor. That is. No idea. Last horse spear, faster reload. New armor shield. Convertible jump booster. Ah, so I can take the roof down. V1 leg exoskeleton. Less equipment weight impact on speed. Extra walking speed. Hmm, walking faster. Couldn't trade that for less jumps though. Ranger gets new flamethrower upgrade. Rapier upgrade. Hmm. Very good. Well, that's another mission done. Here's a playlist if you want more and uh, some other stuff.